how this football star, Eric Cantona, became an actor. Everyone who likes football or movies should know the name Eric Cantona. The Frenchman is known to be one of the star players of his time. The French Football Hall of Fame ranked him as the sixth best player to play for France. People also considered the Manchester United star one of the best strikers of all time. Eric Cantona became well known as a player and now he is known as a renowned English film star. Cantona does more than just act on screen. Through his production company, he also makes movies. Here, we'll examine how this famous football player turned into an actor. But first, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. So, let's start our video. Eric Cantona, in full, Eric Daniel Pierre Cantona, was born on May 24th, 1966, in Marseille, France. He is a French football player who became one of the sport's prominent names in the 1990s. He's mainly remembered for his temperamental game and for helping revive the English powerhouse club, Manchester United. As a kid, Cantona played on a good youth squad near Marseille. When he was 15, AJ Auxerre, a top-level football club, found and signed him. He played his first game with the first team for Auxerre in 1983-84 and he became a regular in 1986-87. In the same year, he played for the French under-21 team for the first time outside of France. In 1988, Cantona moved to Olympique de Marseille. At about the same time, his ferocious temper started to hurt him on the field. He was prohibited from the national football team for one year for publicly denouncing France's manager. He was suspended for Marseille in 1989 for flinging his shirt at a referee during one charity game. Cantona's actions upset Marseille, so they rented him to Bordeaux Montpellier, under which he secured the French Cup in 1990. After half a season at Nimes, Sheffield Wednesday FC's English team asked him to try out for them. He left the team though and signed with Leeds United in February 1992. There. He became a star reasonably quickly and helped the club win the English First Division, now the Premier League, just three months later. Now, since Leeds was knocked out of the European Cup, Cantona was transferred to Manchester United, which was a big surprise. In 1993, he helped Manchester win their first league title in 26 years. He was also the only player to accomplish this feat with two different teams in two consecutive seasons. He took the team to its second Premier League title and an FA Cup victory the next year. But Cantona's on-field achievement was soon overlooked due to his most contentious act. When he was walking off the field after getting a red card in a game against Crystal Palace FC in January 1995, he was teased by an opposing fan. So he jumped into the stands and kicked the supporter in the chest. So he couldn't participate in the game for eight months and was handed a sentence of two weeks in prison, which was later changed to 120 hours of community service. During the 1995-96 season, he went back to Manchester. In his first year back, he led the club to wins in both league and the FA Cup. He quit football when he was 30 years old after helping Manchester win its fourth league championship in five years. Manchester United fans loved Cantona a lot. In 2001, they chose him as the club's player of the century. Acting career. So, when did Eric Cantona first start to act? Cantona started acting after he retired from football. Eric Cantona started acting in 1995 when he got a part in the French movie Happiness in the Field as a rugby player. The movie was made while Cantona was banned from playing football in 1995. He was banned because he attacked a fan in the middle of a game. Ever since, he became very interested in acting and has been in a number of movies. Even though he started acting in the late 1990s, Cantona has been in more than 30 movies and is still taking on roles. He was in French and English movies also, like the drama Elizabeth, which starred Kate Blanchett, and the comedy Looking for Eric, which is about a Manchester United supporter who has a hallucination of Cantona giving him advice. In the book Cantona on Cantona, Cantona wrote about his own ideas. The former captain of Manchester United has primarily appeared in small French language films, but he did have a part in Elizabeth, which won a BAFTA award and starred Kate Blanchett. He also worked in Looking for Eric, which came out in 2009 and was directed by Ken Loesch. 
And it might be Cantona's well-known film. The Rotten website Tomatoes gave it a score of 85%. He often worked with the French artist Rashida Brachny, including in the movies The Overeater and Une Belle Histoire. In 2007, he married her. Because of his shape and athletic background, it's not shocking that a lot of Cantona's roles have a physical component or a hint at one. Cantona hasn't been the main character in a TV show, but he has had parts in a few TV movies throughout his acting career. Eleven Men Against Eleven, Black Butterfly, and Delete de Fuite are some of the TV movies he has been in. Eric Cantona has appeared in a number of Nike ads well over the years. One of them was directed by Terry Gilliam, a part of the Monty Python group. He was the main character in the famous 1996 commercial, Good Vs Evil, where he had to lead a group of his peers against the group of the devil's evil spirits. Cantona later played a mysterious creature who set up an officiated and secret football match featuring some of the greatest players in the world. Cantona has done TV commercials for more than just Nike. He has been in ads for Eurostar, Renault, and Patty Power, among others. His most recent roles in TV ads were as Commissioner of Football for Eurosport and Guide to Surviving Brexit for Paddy Power. Cantona helped Liam Gallagher make the music video for the track Once from his 2019 album Why Me, Why Not. The fact that Gallagher is a Manchester City big admirer decides the Manchester United legend to play The King, a title given to him by the fans at Old Trafford even more strange. Still, the artist hasn't been shy about how much he likes the Frenchman. I'm absolutely thrilled to have Eric Cantona, the last rock and roll footballer, star in my video for once, Gallagher said in a Twitter post. Songs like this don't come around very often and neither do football players like him. So that's it for today. Is there anything interesting that we missed? Or do you want to see the journey of some other footballer who became an actor? Tell us in the comments and we'll try to make a video on that topic. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and learn more about football. Also, if you liked our videos, kindly consider becoming a member to enjoy some amazing perks. That way, you'll also support us and help us continue to make more such videos. Thank you!